I'll leave. Even though we've been camping all week, as the magpie flies, challenge Josh to continue to camp one more day. Do you guys know where you're going? No clue. No clue. No clue where you're going, but you're going. And they're going nowhere fast. I didn't do too much filming at the camp out because I was having a lot of fun. So I missed filming with Adam Sandoval as well as Ag the Magpie Flies, her two wheels, and Biker Bay Beth over there. I didn't film pretty much with anyone, but I had a lot of fun. I hope you all have fun out in the woods together alone. Wow, another YouTube marriage forms. Okay, bye. I love you. Mm, like your straps. Professional. I got the patriotic pack. And someone who's much more adult. Adult? I don't know what I'm going to Let's well, prepared. prepared, professional. People who make fun of me for having all the stuff that have to ask for something that I brought and they didn't. So I'm that bitch who has everything. That's why my road name is Mono Martha. I'm like, you need uh, snacks, oh ibuprofen, sunscreen, favorite. I got you. You wanna know my road name? The trash man. Yes, you also realize I'm riding almost a 40 year old motorcycle point on my one carburetor. It is the one that only has one carburetor. One carb's all you need when you're smoking weed. Hey, I would know. <laughs> I love you. Love Bye. You Get out of my state. What's that? Get out of my state, girl. Bye. 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 Just, uh, Hurry up. Shut the door. <laughs> just drive away with their bags back there and don't let them take them. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. That would be so messed up. Kind of shy. I got some new Odin gloves. They're a little bit thicker than I'm used to, but I got the ladies small and it's probably best to have a pair of leathers laying around. All my other ones are summer gloves. So these ones are the heavy duty, which is probably what I should have when I'm riding a 700 pound bike that I've never ridden before. This bike is a freaking monster. Listen to it. <laughs> It's big and I definitely can't drop it or I will be in trouble, but I can't not ride it. I never rode the Road King, but it was also too big for me. This one I can actually sit on. I'm tiptoeing, but it's not really that bad. Damn, this bike is big. We put a 131 engine in this our little rider S and its final number was 143. This bike is a monster. I'm not heading anywhere in particular. When I go on test drives, I like to go over the bridge on 275 just so I can speed a little. I gotta see what this bike can do. Sorry, officer. It's a test drive. It is unbelievable how fast this motorcycle is. It does not feel like I'm going as fast as I'm going. I don't feel like I'm flying off the bike like I did when I rode the Vulcan. And there's no speed wobbles like there is when I ride my Sportster. I don't want to give this motorcycle up either. I wish I won the raffle, but Rapstar wasn't allowed to buy any tickets. We put our money forward in other ways. The paint job that Mo did on it is absolutely amazing. I'm sad to see it go, but I know that it's going to such a wonderful home. Ah, oh, shit. I'm almost out of gas. I hope this bike has a reserve tank. Maybe I should have gone on a shorter test ride, but this bike is really fun. Can you blame me? Ah, oh, shit. I'm on reserve now. Okay, it says I got three, three miles. I can definitely make it back home on that. At least I'm pretty certain I can make it back home on that. Make it a Josh problem. Okay, I think this is the way I need to go to turn around. Yeah, it is. All right, I know my way around. I can get back home safely. I can do it. I definitely don't want to call Josh and tell him I ran out of gas on the highway. That would be embarrassing. And I'm pretty sure my phone's about to die too, so. I never planned for a disaster, but I sure do know how to handle it. I probably should more often with the fucking crew I hang out with. This motorcycle does have a saddleman seat though, and I hate saddlemans. They are too big. I am not thick by any means. So your girl needs a small seat. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm glad this bike is getting picked up real soon. 
This is too fast for my own good. Every time I ride a fast bike, usually they're lightweight. And I mean, I, this might be the heaviest bike that I've ever ridden. Definitely tying for the R18 in weight for the biggest bike that I've ever ridden. But I wasn't able to take the R18 on a proper test drive because I don't think that Eurocycles trust us that much. No, we are not R18 partners. I rode the R18 before it was cool, okay? But like I said, I didn't take it on a good test drive, so I really wasn't able to see the full power that the R18 had. Not like I'm seeing on this motorcycle, because it is strong. Oh, big strong bike in a gorgeous day. It's been rough out here in the streets lately, but hey, when I'm on this bike, life feels all right. And I guess that's road therapy for you. Ah, oh, this guy knows what's up. Damn, this bike is fast as boy. Yeah, I know you looking. Shit, I'd be looking too. Damn, this bike's pretty. Ah, oh, I wish lane splitting was legal here. I just can't trust one of these guys won't hit me on purpose. Shit, I think I need a bigger engine in my sports for now. All right. Ooh, this Harley kickstand's easy. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. I know that lately I've been posting some really short videos. I've been even getting some comments saying that it looks like I haven't really been trying lately, which is a fair perception, but I actually really am trying my best. This is just kind of what my best looks like right now. If you come to the live streams and some of you don't, which I don't hold it against you, it's a shit show in there. We do talk a little bit more openly and freely in there than I do in the video. I've been experiencing a lot of grief lately and I've had three losses in the last three months and two of those have been from my friends taking their own lives. It's really hard to properly convey through the videos how it affects me in my day-to-day -day personal life just because it's really difficult to be that vulnerable through a screen with anyone except for my therapist. I want to be upfront with you guys because I don't want it to seem like I'm not trying because I really, really am trying. Even when I'm going out and doing these amazing things, Sometimes I'm not always having the most fun because I'm just really sad and grieving and depressed, but I am doing all the things that I'm supposed to be doing. I exercise, I take my medication, I go to therapy, I eat healthy, and at the end of the day, I'm still sad. And that can be really, really frustrating that nothing's really working, but I have to keep trying. And if you feel like you can't keep trying right now and you're really... Hey, can you not eat my pets? If you feel like you can't keep trying, go get a kiss from a dog. Please know that you are not alone. Not a single person in this world exists completely by themselves. We are all connected to each other in some way. And I don't know, that makes me feel less lonely. Just a reminder that being lonely is just a feeling and feelings pass and you're not alone. If you're at the point where you just can't keep trying anymore, know how many resources there are available. There is a crisis line for pretty much anyone. If you're a man, a woman, if you're gay, if you're transgender, if you're a veteran, if you're a minority, if you are an adolescent, if you are a senior, there are so many different resources for you if it is a phone call if it is a text a video chat and these resources are free crisis lines are only a phone call or a text away if you feel like you can't talk to somebody that you know personally about your mental health there's always these resources please reach out to your friends and to somebody and these losses did happen right before the forgotten angels camp out if i was acting weird or distant or frazzles, or if I seemed short with you, I promise it was because I was sad and it wasn't because of you for any reason. A big shout out to everyone who made it to the camp out. Shout out to everybody who bought a ticket. Shout out to Kimberly who's coming in this Friday to pick up her vehicles. And if you missed your opportunity to get a Brapstar t-shirt or any merch at all, we do have a few new stickers out, such as our Harley Davidson sticker. And we did add two more Keep Florida Shady stickers. So head over to Brapstar.com to check those out as well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the ding dong diddle, and do all the things. I am here for you every Sunday and Wednesday. I'll see you here on Sunday for the live stream. They'll both say bye.